Hi, my name is Mayan Shah with RVMax.us and right behind me is a stunning coach. It is a 2002 Prevo Liberty XL bus with one slide. We've got a big Prevo slide in the front living room of this coach. And as you'll see, not only is the outside timeless, but the inside is too. A nice thing about this bus is it was very well maintained. We've known where it's been for the last two owners and it has been well taken care of and loved and used, which are all great things to see. You don't wanna see one of these coaches that has sat around a lot. That is really not a good thing for any coach, but especially one of these Prevo buses. We've got two big windshields in the front. Liberty Coach installs these massive, beautiful logos on the front of their coaches. Got a nice stainless grill set up on the front. Face is in pretty good shape. There's a couple little minor rock chips. It is equipped with buttons, so you could put a bra on the front pretty easily. The mirrors are in excellent shape. They're chromed out. A couple little minor scratches right here on this one, but they're beautiful mirrors, Ramco mirrors. And up front here, we've got a secret compartment. Take this key right here. That kind of reminds you of a 70s Ford key. Satisfying click away is the electronics compartment for the front cockpit, which includes things such as the headlights, fog lights, the fast idle resistors, things like that are located up here. And down below you've got air components as well as um, a cruise air in the center of the uh, face of the bus. There's also very nice diagrams and everything and wiring explanations and fuse relay labels on the door of that. Fog lights are pretty bright. We've got four of them around the coach. Now these fenders are also quite special. We've got these beautifully painted fenders that go over all the wheels. They go with the paint and they set off the coach because they're down in the part of the coach that's all stainless and not painted. So they kind of pop out at you and they just give the coach a better stance. Now all of the side markers have these beautifully finished um, chrome pieces around them. One of the most satisfying things is opening an XL compartment door or the entrance door or any door. Now we've got classic Liberty design. You know, they really haven't changed these slide trays much. I'm sure things have been changed in the brand new Liberties, but they look very similar. Open up this, uh, open up this compartment. Got a nice finished grab bar there. Um, slides out. There's two slide trays here, one for the other, other side and one for this side. And then the kicks on these compartments are also finished out. A beautiful polished chrome. Now that box on the right is sort of your automatic transfer switch. So it does automatically transfer you from generator shore power back and forth. But that box will actually let you turn off shore power completely and also switch from using your cord reel 50 amp power supply to your port side 50 amp power connection. You've got two places to plug in 50 amp. Now this right here is our little extra compartment where we've got our Liberty Coach Zip D custom chairs. Very nice chairs, very nice to use, lightweight too, so perfect to carry up to the beach or wherever. The compartment carpeting is all super clean. This next compartment over is where we've got two 2500 watt heart interface inverters. These also keep the batteries charged up. This coach has fresh coach batteries on the other side of the bus. There's a dedicated battery there in that box for the generator. And back behind there are a bunch of relays um, and electronics pertaining to the interior lighting and switching. And same thing for the left side. You've got like cockpit shade fuses, lighting fuses, um, all very well wired. Liberty Coach is again known for top-notch wiring in their buses. Now on the right here, 
um, of this compartment. We've got a generator start stop button. You can see we've only got 1300 hours on this generator, which is nothing. And there's also a dedicated 50 amp power plug um, that you can use as a buddy plug from your generator. Now this does have a large dual fill diesel fuel tank. Um, I believe 208 gallons is what these XL2s are rated. One of the most solid feeling fuel tank caps. And here is a, our beautiful plumbing bay. Another thing Liberty Coach is known for. We've got air dump valves um, for the main tank dump. This has a 150 gallon combined tank for a gray and black. There's also a nice push button gray bypass. You can either do it from out here or inside the coach. Now on the right is our beautiful polished brass inlet with built-in pressure regulator for our city water inlet. This also has a push button water tank fill and then we've got this nice polished brass inlet for the uh, tank flush. Very nicely labeled too. I love how these labels are still are still here. Now that is actually your um, I believe it's 170 gallons or 160, 160 to 170 gallon freshwater tank back here, stainless tank. And you've got, uh, you can fill it with the push button, but you also fill it directly. Now this is cool too. So this is where your water hose can come up through. Nice little rubber pieces to keep them insulated. Um, and then over here, big stainless Liberty coach inscribed and engraved. They even painted the back of it black. They did, they did that nice. This is our generator compartment. So on slide rails, on airbags. So very well insulated from the cabin of the coach and very low hours on this sucker too. This is a Kohler generator. Now this is an extra little outside light LED. So you click it on from right there. Our second docking light on this side of the coach, our port side 50 amp power plug connection, as well as an inlet for cable TV, stuff like that. Now, the exhaust pipes for both the Wabasto heater and the generator are stainless and poked out right here. All the exhausts are one nice little spot on this coach and they look very good, very sleek. That is our exhaust for the 12.7 liter Detroit Series 60. And the rear fenders are obviously beautifully painted. They will actually easily detach and lift up if you need to get in there. Um, which is pretty nice that you have that access. I mean, it's so beautiful of a coach. You wouldn't think that it's also really made to be serviced, but that's the beauty of these Prevo buses, no pun intended. And we have yet another secret compartment that requires a key. Now this is where the Wabasto system is located. You've got a big Wabasto burner. Um, you've got the circulation valves. You've got your fuel filter for the Wabasto burner and it runs beautifully. We'll keep you more than toasty in this coach. And I love how even in this service compartment, they put that stainless everywhere. Looks so good. Very satisfying compartment. It's very well built. Now this is our big side radiator here. Um, and I love these, look at these mounted side lights on the radiator, on the side radiator grill here. But this side radiator is uh, easily accessible here. Just open this compartment up and get right to it. And this is where we've got our 12.7 liter Detroit Series 60, transmission retarder included with the Allison 4000 transmission and a 20,000 pound tow capacity. Nice little stainless flaps covering your air chug and your rear electric port. Paint looks nice, rear Marker lights look nice at night, and we've got more access to the engine from this compartment here. All right, so we've got a little stainless finished extra storage bin here, air filter up here on the left, fuel filter right here. There is a extra, just a little compressor, just a tiny one that was added um, for our 120,000 BTU bus air system. We've also got a oil cooled alternator right over here. Um, that's on the Series 60. This will charge all of the batteries in the bus, including your big coach batteries. Big turbo located right over here. Side radiator fan, nice looking piping here. Connections look good, not rusty. You know, like all the clamps and stuff like that. Big stainless grill back here covering up. Classic Liberty move, they're still doing it. 
oil reservoir up top so you can keep your extra oil here when you need to top off you just open up this valve you just check the oil you realize you need to top off open the valve so you don't have to get out like a can or, or whatever a jug there's also a nice wiring diagram i almost forgot a lot of prevost have like the prevost of the electronics are up here above the engine well thought out stuff and by the way prevo is great if you ever have a question about something you can call them up and see if they can help and they'll get a tech on and they'll tell you stuff that you're it will surprise you it has surprised me um, also, there's a nice cutoff switch back here. Jump points if the coach, if the chassis batteries ever go dead. Chassis batteries are actually located under that stainless box. And this compartment, you can open it. Um, it's just our 50 amp power cord reel. That's all that's located in there, plus a little extra storage, I guess. But you open it up with this big, heavy uh, stainless cover. That's where the 50 amp cord comes out. It's got a Hubble 50 amp end. Beautiful fenders again that also fold up. We do have window awnings on this coach, by the way, which looks nice. Uh, they're all zip Ds with aluminum covers to protect them when they're rolled up. Four more beautiful outside lights here on the starboard side of the bus. Um, and let's go ahead and open this compartment here. And also we've got another 50 amp power cord connection. So you can plug in the bus from over here too. And uh, yeah, stainless tank here on the right. Nice outside faucet. Check your tanks from here. Do your tank sentry system. Um, you can also turn the water tank fill on from here. You can dump on this side of the coach. Now that is a special feature. That's something that really only very few coaches do that, but there is a main dump for your holding tank on both sides of the coach, both push button. Now back in the back here, we've got our 20 gallon electric water heater. We've got a dual water filtration system, big Mach 5 water pump, um, and then a fresh tank dump right there. So you can easily dump the fresh tank out. There's also electric bay heaters, um, stuff like that. Very well insulated buses in the first place. Now this compartment right here used to be a little bit of outside entertainment. It is now storage. We still have our refrigerator out here, but this little bit of extra storage to me is quite nice actually. Bus air takes up a good bit of space. Um, so having a little bit of a little bump in storage to me is pretty convenient. You still have the fridge and you can still put a TV in there if you want. Now the new batteries, the coach batteries are actually behind that, uh, those panels there. Now this is our pass-through storage. So uh, the two, you've got two, you've got four Zipti chairs in total. Two more are located in the back side of this compartment. Secret little cubby hole. Pass-through storage compartment. Got our slide tray. all the original manuals for the coach, including some extra floor pieces, and a slick toolbox on a second slide tray. This opens up, you've got a full toolbox right there. Now there's outlets out here, got our emergency awning puller, but also you've got one rod that you need for all your awnings. And uh, up above is a little bit of extra storage. Got these nice carpeted drawers some button covers for the bus. And yeah, it's a good bit of storage. Very nicely finished out storage compartments too. They're beautiful, just like the rest of the coach. That's what's so cool about finding a Liberty coach is the way they finish it out. It almost sometimes seems like it's not even that big of a difference, but if you think about it, in most all things, the last 1% is the most difficult uh, to achieve. Detailing many industries, definitely including this industry. Um, this is quite a magnificent coach. Uh, the patio awning, by the way, was recently uh, replaced, but um, it's been well taken care of too. So that's another big plus. By the way, I love that they kept these windows. Like I, they had a term for it when they first came out, but these windows curve up to meet the roof line and you, don't, you just don't see it anywhere else. Anyways, let's go take a peek inside this private coach. I'm gonna ring the doorbell. <phone rings> So welcome inside. This coach has upgraded floors. So there was carpeting here originally, and we now have a new plank flooring from the entrance step all up in the driver area, pretty much all the way up there until you get to this tile. The wood was also continued up on the slide. So around this couch, under the couch, and under the dining table, we also have that updated floor. The interior of this coach will knock your socks off. It's absolutely stunning. All the windows have this beautiful, beautiful woodwork and Alcantara and 
just amazing materials everywhere. I mean, look at this area here around the couch. All the wall paneling below the windows throughout the coach are finished in this Alcantara or suede leather type material. It also provides nice sound deadening. Now there's one or two little minor stains on this in the coach, but they're very minor. This couch right here will jackknife into a bed. These two pieces will remove. And then you've got yourself a nice layout bed there. There is a little bit of extra storage too on the right side. Now to the right of the couch, you've got that big countertop and a bit of storage inside. Got a Bose surround sound system for the front. We've got an updated TV up in the front too. And it's really cool how they put this material everywhere. It comes around the corner, comes up here, all around the driver and the cockpit. You've got some lighting control here, master lighting switches, as well as a bay and entry door lock and unlock. The well, cockpit is sick. We're gonna check that out um, in just a minute before we go drive. But up here is one of our updated TVs. Looks fantastic. Um, this is our front forward cruise air conditioner. The, the front two seats are in excellent condition. In fact, all of the upholstery in this coach is in excellent condition. These are Villa furniture pieces, so top notch, built in California, and it's finished in full grain thick leather. The windows are something to behold on any Prevo bus, especially this one. Nice amount of outside visibility. And again, when it's surrounded by this gorgeous woodwork, the colors in this bus were just picked perfectly. I love this glass display up here. We do have a couch. This couch will jackknife. This couch will jackknife too. Um, and there's actually another little triangle cut countertop back in this little cubby hole. I absolutely love that next to the couch. Um, and then this right here is our shade control for the electric shades up in the front of the coach. Now the kitchen is beautiful too. I mean, I love this, love this wood. It goes perfectly with the stone. This is thick, thick stone, extra thick stone that they use in these Liberty coaches. And it's almost like a distressed style. And the cabinet color just has a nice amount of dimension to it. Um, goes very well with this tile. Now this piece actually extends. First of all, this counter is so cool. Um, the way it's shaped, this big, thick trim work that goes around all of these countertop pieces, including this little upper layer here that is just beautiful. But this will actually extend. So all I do is come over here to the touch screen. I go into my doors, voila, there it is. Thing pops out on its own. It's air operated, extra Corian countertop up here. And then down below, you've got drawers, um, as well as this automatically lit cabinet. Now this, the first time we had this coach, um, was actually a trash compactor. Now it is an upgraded wine cooler. So super slick, nice use of the space. Countertop space is good. We've got a huge solid sink. I love how the sink is built out of the same material as the countertop, it looks seamless accent lights up around here, a couple burnt out accent lights that come free of charge on the bus, an exquisite backsplash, storage up above. Um, this is a perfect little storage compartment for your paper towels. It's got a hole right here so you can roll it right out. And then up above, there's automatic lights in all these storage compartments. It's a good amount of storage up there. And then right over here, we've got more countertop space an almost perfectly cut insert that covers our dual burner Gaganu stove. And above the stove is an upgraded Samsung microwave convection oven. And so all you do uh, is open it up and then you can slide those drawers or slide those uh, cabinet faces right back in to get them out of the way. Now down here, let's go through some of this. We'll start right here. This has a huge well-built pantry, rolls out, finished in nice wood. Um, that wood has like a semi-gloss finish on it. And then below that, we've got our freezer drawers. Extra freezer space, because this is not part of our main refrigerator. You've got this drawer up top, and then you've got a drawer down below. All right, now over here, we've got another little small pantry rack. Pretty deep drawer, well-built wood. I mean, all this stuff is super nice. Cabinets down below, drawer up top. A lot of space in this kitchen. And then down below, huge open space there. Now to the right of 
the galley, the kitchen area, washer dryer stack, Bosch, seamlessly built in here. I love this cabinetry, you wouldn't know, it just, it makes the whole thing look so seamless. And one of the things that contributes to that is this cabinet work that hides everything, including our refrigerator. Sub-Zero refrigerator. Now down below this fridge, we've got two freezer drawers, big size freezer drawers. So that's quite nice. So you got four freezer drawers in total and then this big upper part of the refrigerator. Compressors were recently replaced in one of these. They both will freeze you. Now this is our main control panel for the whole bus right here. You've got all your breakers, line one, line two. You've got the two cruise airs for the center or the middle part of the coach, basically the living room, kitchen, um, and the bathroom. You can control and check your tanks through the tank sentry system here. And pretty much everything, water pump, air conditioners, outlets. I love how the outlets are put on breakers. So you can easily turn off outlets in pretty much the entire coach. Instead of having to go unplug something, you can just come here and click, done. That is convenient. This is where you can see your draw. Right now we're running on the generator and we've got 43 amps plus two. So we've got about 46 amps of draw right now. And then this is our crushed on touchscreen control system. You can control all your lighting through here. You can control the main breakers for the air conditioners, the cruise airs, um, as well as the Wabasto heater. You can control the air doors. There's three of them, including the galley cabinet slide, which I'm gonna go and put that back in. There she goes. Bye. And then the rest of it is uh, shade control. You've got your generator control. It used to have this crappy air electric zip D awning, but now it's got a manual awning, so that's obsolete. Um, but yeah, you can also do some of the controls up in the cockpit from the crest on. So super nice system. Now these are the controllers for our two 2,500 watt heart interface inverters. They also act as your chargers. And then you got dimmers uh, for your main ceiling lighting. So that is a nice, clean, um, high-tech control center right there. Now this is our dining area. This is where you're gonna eat. Um, that's an important spot. You got two big, nice household chairs. I love the upgraded floor, that beautiful padding. Alcantara material goes all the way around, of course. Um, good bit of space up here. There is an extra leaf and this table does extend. Great view out of the coach. Just all around beautiful place to sit and eat and enjoy meals. Now up above, you got these beautiful cabinets with these uniquely um, shaped cabinet doors. And if you haven't noticed, um, all of the ceiling lights outside of the old Accent or Tivoli lights have been updated to LEDs. This has been a big, big plus since the first time we had it. The first time we had it, it had the old um, old school lights and these new LEDs, they look so good um, and they're also more efficient and put out less heat and they're brighter. It's just a nice touch, nice upgrade. Now this hallway is gorgeous. This is where we start seeing this beautiful wood paneling continue from about waist down, leather material on the walls now, um, up above the windows because there's no windows in here. On the left, you've got a big wardrobe, automatic LED lights pop right on, extra cover for the sink, you can do whatever you like with this setup. Drawers down there, all that good stuff. And then you got another full size, I could walk in there, um, wardrobe. Nicely lit too. This stone flooring is awesome. Now on the right is our bathroom, our toilet. This has a nice porcelain toilet, a picture or what's made to look like a picture frame out of stone, it's all stone. This interesting sink that's like rounded and two mirrors, which both have uh, storage back behind them and a deep amount of storage. Also check out that vanity mirror lighting. It's all built into that wood, absolutely stunning. Now the exhaust fan in here has been upgraded to that Max Air fan that we discussed on the roof. Wood paneling, again, more storage back here. I love how these open too. Like, look at this, look at the wood here. And I love how, it's just so cool. It's just, it's bespoke, really. I only built so many of these buses. Really interesting cabinets there. It's, it's stunning. <laughs> it's really stunning. I love that bathroom. 
I love this whole coach. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Across the way from there, we've got our big glass enclosed stone shower. This is a big shower. I love how this tile feels on your feet. It's so nice. This stone from the floor is continued. There's a stone built shower rack over here. There's an extra shower rack that was installed right here. Nice racks up top, nice shower head, temperature control, there's a thermostatically controlled faucet here. And it's a big, tall shower. I'm 5'11", so a ton of space up above. These being updated to LEDs was a big plus. Um, and then this exhaust fan was also upgraded to a newer Max Air fan. So great looking shower. Very nice, very tasteful. I don't know why, but that shower just reminds me of like what a Roman Caesar would be uh, showering in. Now this right over here is our main bathroom sink. Um, in addition to the one, of course, that's in the toilet room. This is a bigger bowl, nice high-end uh, faucet here. Stonework is beautiful. Corian countertop is beautiful. There's awesome storage down below. Automatic LED lights that come on. Those have been updated. Behind this mirror, which was broken the first time, is now fixed. It's a new mirror. Great space back behind it. And great recessed lights up here. You can actually direct these if you like, which is super slick. All right, this bedroom is epic. So first of all, this is a huge pocket door. This is very wide here. And the feeling of walking back here and existing in this coach because the visibility because of these windows is so excellent. This is a queen size bed, north south style, countertops on both sides, storage compartments on both sides under these beautiful countertops that are made out of Corian or window sills, I should say, that are made out of Corian. We've got a slightly different material for um, these pieces in between the window. Definitely feels more like a luxury bedroom now. Um, woodwork is continued. Tivoli accent lights around all the windows is continued. There's a custom painting on the ceiling of this bedroom, finished with accent trim wood, accent lights, and it's curved to give it a very unique look. It looks amazing. There is an updated Samsung TV here at the foot of the bed. Um, and there's also a nice little vanity mirror um, and storage. This is built out of solid Corian, so it's got a little weight to it. <laughs> and what's cool is the drawer that is down below is actually accessible from uh, this when you open it up. And then there's a bunch of extra drawers down below, three deep drawers right here. Again, we've got that updated TV right here. This is an absolutely stunning bedroom. You wake up enclosed in glass. Um, you can have the shades down and you just hit the button over there and roll up all the shades. There's a bit of extra storage back here too. So you open this up, there's an extra wardrobe, automatic LED lights in it. It's bigger than it looks. Um, and there's a second wardrobe just like that over there behind that mirror. Very unique pieces back here. Um, I love the shelf. I love the woodwork. The cruise air for this bedroom will freeze you out. You got our Bose surround sound for the bedroom. You've got a Bose surround sound for the front, Bose surround sound for the back, baby. We we'll rocking out in this coach. Anyways, gorgeous bedroom. I mean, you're not gonna really see anything like this and, and it just makes you feel like you're in so much luxury when you're chilling in it. Anyways, this interior is stunning and I could spend a lot more time talking about little details that are hidden throughout it, but that's for you to find out. Let's go check out the cockpit because the cockpit is quite gorgeous. This interior is stunning. It's clean. This is well-built, well-maintained. It's a Liberty coach. It speaks for itself. It also, I mean, you can see with your own eyes how gorgeous this thing is. The materials used, again, I, the whole bus feels so connected in here. It just makes you feel like you're in a cocoon. Everywhere you walk around here, it's the same leather, stone, and just, you can't describe it in words. So I'm gonna shut up. You can see it with your own eyes, and uh, that's about the best thing you can do. Let's check out that cockpit. All right, this cockpit is surrounded by this nice Corian. There's actually storage space in this whole cabinet setup that surrounds the driver's seat. But the driver's seat is awesome. It's in nice condition, beautiful leather. You've got controls over there for air leveling. Um, you can also manually level the bus. It's got auto level, headlights, um, tag dump is right back there. 
cruise controls over there, Allison six-speed control. There's actually a siren machine. So this down there will create sirens that'll make you sound like a fire truck. You can also talk over the PA. It's sweet, it's a full PA system. Now to the left, we've got shade controls for the cockpit, hazard lights, fast idle. Um, you can test the gauges. Gauge cluster is gorgeous, simple, clean, informative. Love that wood steering wheel, absolutely love it. Very much fits this coach because it's such an easy to drive coach. It feels like butter, the front end is just butter and it fits with that steering wheel like a Cadillac. That's an upgraded screen. The crest on screen down below is off. It's not plugged in anymore, not working anymore. Um, but you've got that nice upgraded radio head unit there. Your backup camera comes through it, Bluetooth audio, all that good stuff. These gauges are beautiful too. You've got gauges monitoring your battery level and then you've got gauges right there for your generator. So right now the generator has been running for the last couple of hours, runs beautifully. Um, you've got a coolant gauge and then the output of the voltage. Love those gauges. And that is a freaking train horn, a street legal train horn. Now down below is where you control your air conditioning for the dash as well as your bus air for the coach. The cockpit is beautiful. You're surrounded in all this leather. The passenger seat has a nice setup too. There's a nice wood finished step cover that comes over the steps. Cup holder over here. Controls for the antenna, some of the audio video. Outlets right there, fire extinguisher right there, and a little cubby hole for extra storage. Um, as well as shade controls here. And there's an electric window, so you can roll that window down as a passenger. That is quite sweet. And uh, this chair will swivel, by the way. All right, let's go drive it. This thing is so sick. All right, we are getting on the highway now. And uh, this coach is unbelievably smooth. Gotta say, it's quite amazing. There's just nothing like how one of these buses drives. And Liberty coaches are excellently balanced coaches, um, in addition to being on this amazing Prevo shell. But the, the way it builds speed is so effortlessly is wild. Like the lack of vibrations you get as you're going through the gears, as you're going up to maximum boost even. And then you just creep up to like 60, 70. And you, you don't even feel the difference or hear the difference. This bus drives perfectly. It's dead straight, it's super true. The front end feels tight. I don't feel it playing or wandering around. It just wants to go dead straight. Kaya is not even using a gimbal right now on the uh, the phone. She's just recording, holding her hands. It's so smooth in this bus. I don't think there's anything I can do on film to demonstrate how smooth it is, but to quote James May, it's like riding on a waterfall of double whipped cream. And with that, thank you so much for watching. This has been an absolute pleasure. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one.